What's going on, guys? Swaz de la, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm going to take that from you, Ashigad, Ashigani. Um, how are you doing? H how are you all? I'm good, thank you. A lot of people want to ask me how is it I can level up my Fortuna so fast. And well, you're watching me do it right now as we speak. Uh, yes, I am Ash. Yes, I am technically fishing. Um, I know, waste of my epic ninja skills. However, I'm getting basic fish for multiple of reasons. One, you can donate the buggers to get your rep, rep up. Uh, now, yes, there is a cap of 14k per, per day. That's 24 hours our time, not in-game time. Otherwise, it'd be pointless. You'd go out one day and come back next week. And uh, that's not how it works. But um, you're watching me do it. I'm fishing. Fishing's one way, mining's the other, and pretty much the next one is the it is a system that they added to Fortuna that they haven't added. Now I can't believe I missed that. There we go. That they haven't added on Earth, which is the bounty system. No, you don't get to become Dog the Bounty Hunter and chase down evil Grineer, although that would be a kind of cool thing there, DE, if you added that on Fortuna, um, on um, Cetus. That might actually help players out on Cetus and get past the grind, so to say. So we're going to toss one of these down, gonna toss one of these down. Not that that bait actually attracts anyone here in this water. The only way you get rare fish these days on Fortuna is in the caves. You can never, ever, ever get rare fish in the main lake anymore. Uh, mostly because they kind of patched it, I think. Uh, but let me double check what other baits there is. Lake hot spots. Eh, we'll try this one. Dash. And yeah, I know the bait takes about 30 seconds for it to kick in, even though it only lasts for 30 seconds. So go freaking figure. Anyway, um, you just fish, dude. So you gotta do fish and mine. That's it. Now there are some caves where you can go splunking, and I know that sounds perverted, but all that means is it's just you you go cave cave mining. Basically, you go through the cave, find a little crack. You either take titanium and fly through the crack, or you take a frame that's very flexible. And you just like ninja slide under it and go through certain extra caves and various other places like that and find even more rarer gems. I'm starting to outfish the uh, the spawn rate. Oh come on, really? Oh you don't fine, fuck yeah. Pardon my French. Come on. I know you're here. Of course, you would be all the way down at the bottom, wouldn't you? Where I can't get you. They've added uh, depth spawns. So you've got to wait for them to come up from the bottom, which is a smart thing, actually, because that's how fish actually react to uh, thrashing in, in water. I do like that. And they've added a little bit of fish logic, so to say. But these are machines, so... Alright, you know what, sod you. I'm not going after you anymore. I'm going to go after you. There we go. And so, that's what I do. After completing my dailies, and I'm, I'm maxed out for the day. I can't get any more rep. I go fish for about half hour, for hour to an hour. And you can store the fish. You don't have to carve them up straight away. You can store them. And I store the buggers up until I've got about 200, 300 fish. And then you can either cut them up into comps or you can hand them in. And I tend to just hand them in. Okay, so we've actually outgrown our what? So I'm going to go to a cave spot near here. Whee! 
and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now this cave initially does have a spawn, but they're dead. So I'm actually going to grab my... Middle mouse button, zoom in. And so you got to do, man. Just mine and fish. Outside of your combat, just mine and fish. And... Swaz de la. There we go. So, I mean, yeah, you could go back to doing a little bit of mining real quick. So, I've got that one there. And that's the problem. The, the, I've noticed that the mining spawn thing is off. If you look in your little HUD at the top, it tells you when a gem is nearby. It tends to be off lately. I don't know why, but it is. Then again, it, it, this is this is Warframe. You've got to take the bugs with anything else. And I don't mind. I mean, I, I, I like Warframe. Okay, so... Welcome to another cool fishing spot that I like to go to. I'm not even doing anything. I can already hear the fish. So I'm going to toss this down. And there's a little scrubber. Yoink. We'll take him. Or her. Or them. Or they. Depending on their pronouns that they want to use. And because this is a pool, you can use... Cave ponds, cave hot spots, toss. And um, now we wait. Dun 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 dun. Sometimes they'll spawn around the opposite side of that rock over there, but that's pretty much all you do. Fish here, fish there. And just enjoy yourself. De-stress de de after killing hundreds of thousands of corpus. Hundreds of thousands of grenier. Millions of freaking, you know, in infected or flood or whatever you want to call them. You know. Just unwind. A little bit of servo fishing. You know. Enjoy yourself. Good. Once you're done, you know. Just swaz the law, man. Swaz the law. Enjoy yourself, you know? But uh, keep the fish. Don't hand them in. So I told you to start spawning over there. Keep the fish. Don't hand them in. Because if you hand them in um, and you have zero rep, you get nothing. However, they do keep. So don't hand them in, pretty much. So I'm going to hop over here real quick and we're just going to go splosh shock thank you splosh shock thank you now I do have the advanced rod which does like the, the um, AOE shock that's this bugger here in my hand so now we just gotta wait for the spawn to catch up. Now normally there's a lot more fish than this here, but um, depending on the rotation, depending on the server, depends on on the fish spawn rate, which kind of sucks. Um, but that's life, really. You know, if you think about it, I mean, there's no not one alternate Earth, so where the fish are a plenty. But uh, you know, it is what it is. And of course, we've lost our. Our last scrubber. We'll grab it. Pop. You can hear the... You can hear them overhead. As I'm fishing. But I'm not very really worried about them. And of course, you know, that's... Pretty much what I do. And then, of course, you could do some fishing here in the lake. But. Don't really care about that. 
And another little tidbit that players don't do, um, here on Fortuna, is they don't realise there's a little thank you gift given to all the players from who want to cut down on the grind. Now, are you ready for it? Once you leave your mission area, instead of just activating your wings and flying off, okay, what you could do is this. Hop over here. See these containers? Break them. Because they contain goodies like that. Rare gems, rare stuff, yeah. And it's not just those three, there's more. Okay. You can come this way. Oh, look, there's some more. I wonder what is inside these things. Oh, look. Lots of bloody goodies. Stuff that you can use to trade. For when you get back into Fortua. And they respawn, I think, every like five to ten minutes. So you can go out, do some fishing, come back, farm them, go out, do some mining, come back, farm them, and before you know it, you have got everything that's needed to build or grind or whatever. See? I'm gonna let this just speak for itself. It starts stacking up, guys. It starts to stack up. You've just got to do it. I know you don't want to. I know you just want to come come to Edrico. Go to bounties and go mine, 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 mine. And then just, you know, go. But as you can see, I've only been really working on my... Um, working on my Fortuna standing. Because of one reason and one reason only. And that's because I want to build my my pistol for the arena. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll, I'll take you to him, or to her. You go to build gun, and we're gonna build the legendary catch moon. So we go catch moon, haymaker, and then finally splat. This weapon, once gilded and maxed out, will one-shot anything, because it'll have 100 plus crit. It will one-shot, again, with the right mods, it will one-shot anything on the index. So you can, in theory, farm the index for anywhere between, I would say, close to 7 to 10 million on your very first mission of the day. Go there. Go up to maybe four or five rounds, leave, and you've got about five million. Less than that. If you've got a credit booster, you, you're definitely going to break the five million mark. In which case, you know, at that point, credits aren't a problem anymore. And it's a good little sidearm to take with you on certain assassination missions. In, like if you know you're going after against Corpus, it'll be a good weapon to take with you. Um, or, or infected, you know, it's a good weapon to take with you. But that's pretty much it. I'm just missing the splat. I have the catch moon, I have the haymaker, I'm just missing the splat. And how do you get the splat? Browse wares, cove. 4K, splat. And I can't get the synthesized uh, endrosynth analyzers until I am cove because you need a specific kind of bait uh, to fish for it. But once you get that and become an old mate as well, there's nothing stopping you from getting things like um, Pack Seeker. Now, I don't believe you get it maxed out, but if you do, that would be amazing. Um, but basically, on a headshot kill, 100% chance for four, pro uh, four projectile bursts to, from the target and seek the heads of nearby enemies. Now, I believe it's only for your custom handmade weapons. If not... 
that is broken because I'm thinking of so many pistols that it could go in. But anyway, that's why I'm doing this. I get to rank five. I get the, the I mean, I, I, you can do it from rank four, as you can see. But at rank five, it's just going to guarantee that you are going to do what you need to do. And that's pretty much it. And of course, they will sell you a pre-made gun. And there's... 90% of the time, it's not worth the, the plat for it. It's really not. And of course, you know, there's that. That's why you do it. Now, another way of leveling it up is if you've already got the credits, which I find it ironic, you can come up here and you can talk to the debt manager. And you can purchase people's debts. Again, thermal sludge for 53 k For example, we'll buy it. And what does this one give us? Training shell. I don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. I do need the advanced debts. Uh, I could afford it. Ah, okay. What am I short on? I've got the cash. Is it the ferrite? No, I've got the ferrite. Ah, it's the actual alloy. But anyway, you get the uh, the bonds. And then ironically, you can talk to him and hand the bonds in for standing. But as you can see, my limit's been capped for the day. Now, I don't no longer don't I no longer need the training debt bonds. And the shelter bonds, I'm going to be not needing any more soon anyway. So, next level, I will be at level 70. I'll rank up, fingers crossed. And I will be able to come here, go to bounties, not bounties, sorry, um, standing, rank up. See, I need my advanced debts, medical, and shelters. So, I don't need the previous sets. So, any previous sets I get now, I can just hand in for free stuff to help speed up along with me getting these the the uh the splat for the pistol so yeah and as long as i've got 100k credits i'm good i can just go clock done and then i will be a cove and then you've got old mate which is the final ranking but that's pretty much it that's how far i am already in fortuna um on Cetus, I'm not that far in actually. I believe on Cetus, I'm only rank three, where I'm at currently right now. I'm about to hit higher rank in Fortuna than I am Earth. Um, mostly because on Earth, there's really not much to do. Um, excuse me. Uh, as you can see, I do have a, a, a ghoul I'm dealing with. And I'm not really worried about the ghoul. I mean, I'll, I'll get to him in a bit. Uh, I've literally got. Only maybe 20-something runes left to farm. I've got the first two points on him anyway. So just, I can either go random one the third or, or just farm, farm the minions. But yeah, if you come to Cetus and I go fast travel, Konzu. Konzu's favorite gun. So yeah, I'm trusted. I'm only rank three. I will officially be higher rated on Fortuna than I am here on Cetus. Because on Cetus, there's no way to do... Uh, other than fishing and mining on, on the previous place, there's no bounties. So you can't, in, in essence, throw credits at the problem like you can on Fortuna. And I do like that. Why? Because... The, the way they're doing it here is... I mean, I would like to do it for, for maybe some rare equipment. Or maybe some lore, or something along those lines. But, Fortuna's got it right. I mean, I, when I saw the, initially saw the bounty system, I thought, wait, does this mean we get to go out, you know, out into the wild and hunt the guy down? You know, is this like a bounty contract? Am I being paid 50,000 plus these comps to hunt this person down? No, 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 no. I'm paying it and I'm giving up these comps to help this person out of debt. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. But, and I, and I do get that, but 
wouldn't it also make sense if we could actually hunt people down? You know, like like for example, and again, DE. This is aimed at you. So if you if you're paying attention, you know, if you ever do watch your content, that's great. But why not have an alert like up here where it's like um, so and so commander of so and so faction, you know, has a bounty of say three hundred thousand credits for his head. Okay, and you it, it's a capture mission for some. And an assassination mission for others. Very similar to how you do the, the, the invasion system. How some it, it's one or the other. Why not do something similar, but with bounties for like Captain Vor, things like that, where you can either capture Captain Vor, Captain Vor for Steel Meridian, things like that, to, to, to actually make it better for your... Um, That would make it a lot Analyze the intelligence profiles of the grenier. easier. Error, not a number. Did the operator enjoy this criticism? Uh, I, I did, Cephalon. It, it, it would be a lot. See, like right now, you've got like these little mini missions down here. Now I'm max level in st in these guys, okay? And I'm working on Cephalon right now. Here, I'll even show it to you real quick. Yes, I'm hated by those four just to make these guys happy. Yeah, see. Max in in in, just in 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 Max. You are a fire. Yes, sir. Because you are respected. Thank you. And again, so now that I'm Max with those and everything else, this would be a really nice little end game content. Yes, I do my sorties daily. This is why I checked it. I do my sorties daily. And so we've got an assassination. We've got a mobile defense with secondaries only. That's going to be interesting. And then we've got conditions, augmented enemy shields. There are going to be so many people uh, using Exalted Umbra doing that just so they can use their swords. Because not a lot of people like to use uh, secondaries. Because there really isn't that many powerful sec secondaries. Unless, of course, you've got the catchment. Um, and it's a spy mission. I really don't like doing spy missions. Not at this level because it's uh, it, 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 the tile sets are a pain in the ass and yeah I mean I, I get it you have to scale up the difficulty for the levels and whatnot and I, I do get that but I'm just not into spy missions um, there really should be a Warframe um, designed just for spy missions and you have to say got Loki or, or Ash no, no Ash is not designed for spy missions if you're running Ash for a spy mission you do not know how to use Ash. Um, just saying, um, you better off taking Rhino for fuck's sake, pardon my French. Um, but no, at the end of the day, guys, this, this is, is what I do outside of streaming. And a lot of you guys do one. I mean, look here, I'll even show it to you. See, I've got all messy and violent preferences. Now I'm not going to be keeping this guy, um, cause he's only got the Kraken, um, Pistol. I think it's a, is it a crack in a pistol or is it an SMG? I'm not sure. I think it's a pistol. Kraken. Heavy pistol for a grenade design that fires two quick shots and a single pull of the trigger. Uh, skill marks. Yeah, it's Kraken. Yeah, 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 it's a pistol. Uh, for a second, if for some reason my brain was saying no more, it's a submachine gun. It's not it's a pistol. So uh, I might actually uh, assassinate. Him and take the pistol, uh, just for the collection. Uh, speaking of collections, I know a lot of you guys during the stream are following and want to know how what I've got. Um, we have got the um, Cooper Dragon and the Chrome. For some reason, I keep getting shotguns. Uh, I don't know why. I just do. Um, I do want to get the Mutilus Bow, um, but or, or, or the you know yeah the Brahma. But point is that's not dropping. Um, this is my, I want to say my fourth lich. Is it my fourth? Okay, the crumb was from my first lich. The Kuva Dragon's from my second lich. I converted one lich. So yeah, this is my fourth lich. The, the one I converted has the little mini rocket launcher. 
Um, it looks like a, a sniper rifle, Gatlin rocket launcher. I'm kicking myself because I really, now I really do want that weapon just, just for experimentation purposes. But um, so yeah, I might keep this one. Uh, pistols wise, um, what have we got? I guess that is a Riven mod. Uh, pistols wise, what have we got? Yeah, I did get the Twin Comax from the, the arena. Which a lot of people were actually quite shocked at that I got it first time because apparently these are a rare drop. Not that I know so. But according to some people, that's a really rare drop. Um, again, not that I would know, but I got them. Um, I still use the Azama, the Neil, and the Murloc. Um, but re lately I'm using the Spetras. Again, because I do have a Revan mod for it. And I am using Widowmaker, our custom-built sword uh, that we built on Cetus. This is the first iteration of it. I'm going to be building a second iteration of the Widowmaker. Um, because this one's still only using Mark 1 parts. And so I'm going to be, once I'm done on Fortuna and maxed out my rank on Fortuna, I'm going to start working, maxing out my rank on Cetus. And uh, hopefully getting some, finally getting some um, operator amps because I have no operator amps. Um, a lot of people are like, what are you talking about? My like, operator amps, for some reason, just do not drop for me. I have none. Uh, here, I'll show you. Equipment. I have no operator amps. None. For some reason, they just do not drop at all in any way, shape, or form. It's like the... the, the It, it, it's like they just don't drop and yes this is what i consider one of the most powerful uh, um amps uh we've got uh Shrek prism pencher scaffold and lothram brace um does 9k void damage uh, per shot minimum um and can go as high as up to i think i think i've gotten a red crit of like i want to say 50k plus on some um, Kuva drones, you know, on some on, on some creatures. Yeah, granted, you know, and of course it, it's all. Oh no, it's not locked. Ah. There we go. About time I can put bloody uh, uh, into it. Um, so unfortunately, we can't just go. Oh, here we go. Copy suit colors. Hey, not that it changed the look or anything, but there you go. And uh, so yeah, that's my amp on my operator. And everyone keeps asking what lenses do I use. This is my focus. Um, my core focus is currently Naramon, um, but I really don't have anything in it because I'm currently on Mand Mandue, mostly because of the amp abilities because again this will help on Cetus uh, it really doesn't help anywhere outside of Cetus but this will help um, when it comes to Cetus yeah I've got again that's to uh, help with Ash you know because it does help with melee combat damage as well it's not just for me outside at least that's what I'm told I, I don't know um, And then, of course, we've got Mando Zurich. I am about to unlock a Toru. Uh, not really bothering with Vizen just yet. I mostly want to focus on one school at a time. Which is going to be this one. Like I said, I just mostly want to focus on one school at a time currently right now. And for me, that is, well, Manduri. Mostly because it helps with the amps. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's where I am at. I am still being attacked by the Stalker. Again, that's because we wanted to uh, farm him for his equipment, which we have damn near got. We do have the Smoking Body of Demo now. Um, I do have the Ash Systems built. I know, again, once it gets to Catch Moon built, I'll be able to pay the million credits for it, get it built, and go from there. Um... Other than that, the Gara build, again, this is just a quick update video, guys. The um, Garuda build, so not Gara, the uh, Garuda build, we do now have the chassis complete, and we currently, again, once we hit a uh, specific 
uh, rank again because I'm going to need it to, to farm the, these crystals. I will literally only be missing the Taurots, Solar and Vega. Once I've got those, I will be able to build the systems and the optics. And we will have Garuda added to our ever-growing list of frames. And of course, here we go. Boom. Let's take a look. There you go, guys. This is my current list of frames that I have. These are my top four favorite. Ash, Haro, Rhino Prime, and Umbra Excalibur, or as I call him, Umbra the Chaos God. Um, then we've Mag, Saren, uh, Waifu, or Mesa for short. And then Nidus is slowly creeping up on me. Uh, my Nidus build is insane. He's got over 700 armor. He's got more armor than Rhino and in Haros. So, yeah, with zero shields, which is insane. Um, because his build is, once he just, he's, a, he's, a, he's an avalanche. Once he gets going, it's really hard to stop with him. Um, Necros, of course, for farming, in case I really need, like, uh, Argon crystals, things of that nature. I've got uh, 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 Necros. Why has he got a Paris Prime? I don't know. I'll, I'll figure that build out. And, of course, got Titan, uh, Titana. And uh, Mag. Mag, for some reason, has slowly fallen off my list uh, of, uh, uh, of playable frames. Of course, I'm going to be knocking down a Gara here too. Gara's okay, but for CC, she kind of sucks. Um, most frames are designed for CC. For example, Mags, Saren, um, Gara, uh, Nyx, uh, even Volt. They're just falling off. I'm sorry. I get it. There's a big debate going on right now as to how they can buff the CC frames, but without making the CC frames meta or overpowered or whatnot. Um, honestly, I, 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 I've come to the conclusion of don't mess with what works. Um, CC frames do need support. They can't do it by themselves. And they shouldn't be able to. No one frame should be able to do everything by themselves. Or if it does, it's a struggle for the player to get it done. Okay? Um, what I mean by that is... There we go. Um, which, for some reason, doesn't bloody work. Um, <laughs> it's bugged out for some reason. It's not working on my Ash. Um, but I, ha I have it. I've got the Seeking Shuriken mods and stuff. Again, because of what I've done. But point is, guys... You asked what you guys wanted to, to see and know and, and figure out what's going on uh, while I'm not streaming. Now you know, so you're up to date. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you all live today on Twitch at uh, 5 p.m. UK time. And uh, I look forward to seeing you out in the stars. So, uh, Swastala, my friends. And I'll see you in the void.